Hi folks, I've got uh, a brand new light from Sofa and the SC21. As is immediately apparent, it's a, it's a little dinky thing. Uh, I believe this is the first and only um, 16340 or rechargeable 123 as we call them in the UK powered light that Sofa do. Um, first impressions are the build quality seems really really nice it's IPX rated drop resistant you know the usual stuff we'll have a look at the manual in the moment um, the tail clip that's one thing that I always kind of look at first you know you know they put something cheap and nasty on there and you know they haven't uh, you can see how much pressure I'm putting on that uh, same with this part here I'm gonna come my thumb turning wide there that is really sturdy. Um, switchable as well, so you can kind of wear it, uh, you know, clipped in your pocket or so forth, or this part here, to uh, clip it on your on, on your cap. Comes off, of course. Uh, USB-C, rechargeable, that's nice. Uh, and it comes with uh, the USB charging lead lanyard and the tail clip thing that we've just mentioned let's have a quick look at the manual so we've got the moon we've got the strobe there that are accessible if you want them but your, your standard grouping is low medium high um, 10 lumens 100 lumens 400 on high um, on the field footage I called high 500 lumens it's not it's it's 400 when you hear me uh, misquote that a little bit later on. And the Turbo 1000. Some of the bits and bobs there that we can have a look at in terms of the water resistant reverse protection, low voltage warning, low voltage protection, advanced temperature regulation, hmm. battery compatibility, and the run times. So we'll just a little pause on those for a second. Um, turbo 1000 lumens for one hour. Okay, uh, high 400 lumens for one hour. How can it be the same? So a quick look there at Sofern's web page. Um, the high of 400 lumens is listed at 1.5 hours in the turbo at one hour so I assume that there's a, a typo there in the in, in the manual we'll just add a screenshot there of um, Sofern's web page so you can see for yourself so jumping back to the light um, pretty simple to use a one click on uh, have I got this on ramping or stepped at the moment let's see I've got it on stepped so you just hold and it will cycle through our low medium and high and a double click takes it to turbo if we're in turbo one click takes us back to where we were otherwise one click turns the light off so if we're not in turbo one click the lights off if we're in turbo it's two clicks to turn off if the lights on four clicks it blinks to tell us and then we can move to our ramping mode it's up to you I suppose whichever one you prefer and your your strobes and your, your moonlights are hidden in there as well so pretty simple and straightforward operation so let me just linger a little bit on the thing that surprised me a touch when I was looking at those run times because um, I'm used to this kind of standard um, for a CR123 powered light. Um, what's that? 1.5 minutes plus 37 minutes at a thousand lumens. I won't mention which manufacturer this is, um, you know. But that's that's what I'm used to. That seems to be about standard. Um, so the Sofern's way in excess of that. Uh, I mean the the the, the turbo at a thousand is is listed at an hour. Um, the level two 
Um, this one's 600 on here, but 400 they're saying an hour and a half. Okay, um, I think we better have a look at that then a little bit more closely, hadn't we? Uh, and I think the first kind of explanation there is a claimed 800 milliamp hour battery. That's pretty high um, for one of these. I mean, I'm kind of used to, um, you know, around the 550. You know, versus 800 uh, and the main reason be behind that is that the higher the uh, milliamp hour that you try and get on uh, you know on any battery you kind of throttle it about throttle it back a little bit on terms of its um in terms of its high drain or low drain capacity so um what i did um i put a high drain low capacity battery in here and it made no difference at all on the um, on, on the output, it held its output, so I was satisfied that this particular battery um, provided sufficient output to run the light at the, um, you know, without throttling it. Uh, I'll just add a screenshot now of what I tested the capacity of the battery at. So I was pleased with that, and to be honest, I was kind of half expecting a little bit of a problem there, but no, there wasn't. Well, when I took it out. You know, walking with the dogs, I felt that it was um, working as advertised. But to be a little bit more certain, um, what I did, and I'll put it after the outdoor shots. If you're really, really interested, you can have a look at uh, what I did. But in short, I basically turned it onto its turbo mode, um, didn't switch it off, uh, and timed it to see what happened. And I put it into turbo manually by double left clicking as it stepped down. I was getting about two minutes of the turbo before it stepped down uh, and then every now and then about six or eight times uh, I double left clicked it manually put it into turbo so to speak and just left it running again uh, I also noticed whilst I was doing that as the temperature dropped uh, as it says in the manual it stepped itself back up again and it probably did that another half a dozen times um, so I ran it continually for an hour before the warning light came on uh, and during that hour it went onto turbo for as long as the torch felt that it was happy to um, maintain the turbo output based on the heat which as I mentioned is about two minutes uh, about a dozen times so I, I felt that was really really remarkably good um, so a good solid hour of use um, with plenty of turbo usage thrown in um, which again you know jumping back to this type of thing that um, that I'm used to, you know, 1.5 minutes at turbo, and then and that's only once running at um, turbo once 1.5 minutes, and then you basically killed your battery down to 37 minutes. So this was a significant improvement, and has moved this at least for me, moved this uh, kind of smallish type light, which you know historically I'm not particularly keen on because of the. Uh, you know the limitation that the size imposes in terms of its output and its run times and that type of thing but this little sofa really is a step up um, and I was startled to be honest with you to get you know that's a, as I mentioned a good solid one hours use with plenty of turbo thrown in okay let's take it out uh, and I'll show you what it can do after dark Hi folks, so uh, got the SC31 now really close on its lowest setting, so let's just bump him up one. You can see it's pretty decent output for its, its second setting. Let's, let's go up to another 500 lumen setting very very good for close range and the run times that we're looking at um, coupled with its size uh, I think that's where the advantage of this light's going to start to kind of show its own and that's very respectable isn't it um, let me jump to uh, to turbo <laughs> there we go a lot better. Oh, and I didn't show you where I was, did I, in terms of um, adding a picture in. So let me add that in now. 
Let's move my tripod a touch. Understandable we can't see down to the end of this path there. Um, but I think that's uh, pretty impressive. It's not getting phenomenally warm either, although well, there is a little bit of breeze tonight. Let's just scroll through our settings again. No, there's low, sorry. Medium, high, and then your turbo. This is I think that's pretty good folks, don't you? I'll catch you soon. What I'm going to do now with the SC21, uh, you can see my little timer there and the lux meter tucked in there. I'm just going to turn it on turbo and leave it going um, until the battery goes flat. And I'm going to uh, take note there on the lux meter and get an idea of uh, the variations in power or drops in power accordingly. Uh, I won't make you watch it all because it'll probably be running for about an hour, but I'll come back and let you know how it went on. So there we go. Oh, I didn't press my timer, did I? Hang on. There we go. The timer going. Let's see there, what have we got? An ambient reading 75 on the lux meter. And as I say, I'll just leave it running and keep my eye on that and let you know how it's gone on. So two minutes in, and the um, the first step down has occurred. There, as you can see, we started in the in the seventies, and we're, it's lowered lowered itself down to uh, fifty five, fifty three. Uh, I'll leave it running and uh, see how long we get. Thirty seven minutes in, I thought I'd better just check in and tell you how we're doing. Uh, I haven't turned the sofa phone off. Um, but uh, I did notice when I was walking the dog, I was uh, the dog, the dogs, uh, repeatedly engaging turbo. So I've changed my mind a little bit. I haven't turned the light off, but I have engaged turbo um, six times uh, manually uh, and then let it run its course. Uh, in addition to that, what I've noticed as well, it hasn't dropped below kind of this ambient reading here um, of 55. So I think that's going to be its high. So I've put the turbo on six times um, and it's also cooled down sufficiently and then re-stepped itself back up to turbo again, just on its own. So we've had uh, eight full runs of turbo, don't know, minute and a half, couple of minutes um, each time. Um, and we're 38 minutes in. So it's holding up really well. I, I would have kind of expected it to be packing in about now but uh, it seems to be still going strong um, and that stepping up and stepping down in its turbo performance is obviously going to be dependent on the heat or the temperature that you're using the light within and it's a it's a reasonably warm day in the UK as I can see the the room temperature near is 21 um, so I think it would do a lot better outside perhaps with a little bit of breeze anyway I'm waffling on let's leave it going um, and see how much we can squeeze out of it. Just over 50 minutes in, folks, now. We can see it's um, still going strong. Oh, there, we just caught a little bit of a step down there, didn't we? It was 60. We are just about to say it had crept back up onto its um, turbo mode again, um, as it does, as I've noticed it's doing. Uh, and we just caught it, fortunately, as I started to film as it uh, did a little step down again. And that's what it's been doing. I think we've probably had about four or five now where it's um, cooled off and stepped itself back up, um, as well as the um, six stints of me actually putting it into turbo uh, manually. And it's just kind of looking after itself, uh, for want of better terminology, um, in terms of its heat. Um, and I am really surprised with the um, with the runtime so far uh, from a a one, two, three powered light. Let's leave it going. There we go, folks. We're 
57 minutes in, our battery warning is now going and the voltage protection is kicking in there and dropping our power down. There's our warning. 57 minutes. That's quite remarkable really. 57 minutes. Um, six. Was it six or eight? I can't remember. But uh, half a dozen or so. Uh, manual. Um, putting it into turbo. Uh, plus however many times. Probably about another half a dozen again. Where uh, the light cooled off enough. And pushed its power back up again. Um, really, really impressed with that.